What is going on, guys? Thanks for checking out this video, my sports gamatria. In this video, I just want to go over my current NFL season. I want to let everybody know what's going on with my NFL season. Um, you know, I don't have any reason to lie to myself about what's going on. I don't have any reason to lie to you guys about what's going on. But I am just having a very bad NFL season this year. I have no control over it, apparently. You know, I tell myself every week that, all right, I'm just going to win them all this time. And it just doesn't happen. And a lot of times I, I'm making silly mistakes or I'm just not connecting the right things or my guesses just aren't hitting. And, you know, I, I've never been a fan of after the fact. You know, once the game's over, people will come out and say, well, this is why they probably won. Well, this is probably why they won. And, you know, they may or may not be right. I don't know. I just don't accept after the fact stuff. You know, if you're not going to tell me who you have before the game starts, I, you know, I kind of don't want, really want to hear why you think they won after it's all or where they lost after the game's over. I just... I'm just I'm not a big fan of the after the fact stuff and and I've been struggling this NFL season. I want to be transparent with you guys. I want to hold myself accountable. I know there's very little accountability in this gematria space. Uh, nobody wants to be held accountable for what they say or who they pick or who they don't pick or what their record is. Nobody even really keeps track of their own record, which is frightening in and of itself, but that's actually a norm for this community, surprisingly enough, nobody keeps track of their record. And everybody who claims to be winning as big as they are, are magically anonymous and they're not public. So I just want to be the only one, or there might be one or two other people that are hold themselves accountable and transparent, but I just want to publicly say, this is my record, it sucks. Do not join my Patreon, or if you're planning on joining my Patreon, um, for the NFL playoffs, because we only have two more weeks left, week 17, week 18, thinking you're going to get some magical picks to win you a bunch of money. That's not the case. I mean, I mean, let's get real here. Nobody actually wins in sports betting, regardless of if you use Gamatia or professional handicappers or what. Nobody is winning money, okay? You get lucky here and there, yeah, sure. But in the long run, it just goes right back to the books. Nobody's getting rich. Nobody's you know, moving up in life when it comes to sports betting. You know, you a lot of times you just got to come into this for fun and for fun only. Uh, if you come in with the expectations, you're going to like make quick, fast cash or, 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 or strike it rich. You're, you're delusional. I'm sorry. And if, and if there are people out there that says it's possible, they're delusional, right? I mean, realistically speaking, there's only about 5% of the entire population in the entire world that's actually maybe profiting from sports betting every now and again. Do you really think you're part of that 5%? Do you really think you are? I know there's some massive egos in Gematria community. I mean, all people are just basically just so, you're like, I, I got the answers, Sway. I got the answers, Sway. I know the answers. It's so easy. I make so much money. It's why I'm the anonymous guy in the comment section with nothing public, right? Like, it's just, but anyway, I just say all that to say this. If you're wanting to join my Patreon for solely NFL, think twice about it. Think twice about what your intentions are before joining because my season this year sucks. And it's not going to get magically better as we head into week 17 or 18 or into the wild card or into the playoffs. Um, and that's what I wrote a paragraph here for my Patreon members. Like, hey, like this is this is what it is this season. Like, this just isn't my year. I'm just not doing good. I have no reason to lie to myself and thinking that I'm doing good. And I have no reason to lie to you to try and claim that I'm doing good to like keep subscribers or something like that. Like, it's just not that. It's just not that um, intense for me. So I fully expect heading into Monday Night Football to be 43 and 33 for a record this season 43 33 it's a 56 percent win ratio and you're probably saying like well 56 percent that's above 50 percent it's like eh, it might as well just be 50 percent because even though it is 50 percent 56 percent mathematically speaking i mean 43 wins and 33 losses like i'm just i'm literally 10 losses away 
from a, a straight up 50 50 and those 10 losses can come so easily and then in, in week 17 and 18 in the wild card and playoffs the super bowl like i can just lose all that shit straight out and, and be under 50 percent. so i really consider this 56 percent win ratio that i'm going to have heading into monday night football uh, as a 50 50 ratio because it's a difference of 10 games and that's not a lot especially when there's 16 games a week i can easily stack 10 losses like that like it's not it's not anything crazy and the sad part is is this is actually a a down year for me like before i'll even show you guys um so this is my year so we're on week 16 i probably already have it brought up but i keep track of the records up here you know coming into the week i was 41 29 I'm completely getting destroyed in week 16. And so I fully expect to be 43, 33, like I said, heading into Monday Night Football, which is a 56% win ratio. I'm doing pretty good in primetime. I'm 28 wins, 17 losses, but still, uh, I've picked every single primetime game. Uh, but it's the overall record that's really troubling. And I say that because if I look at past seasons, um, go to Super Bowl 56 season, if I go all the way down, that season, I finished 54 wins and 36 losses. See, I, I last season, I had 36 losses altogether. And this season, I already have 33 losses. And there's still two more weeks left in the regular season. And there's still playoffs and the Super Bowl. So last year, by the time that I got done with the Super Bowl, I only had 36 losses. But this year, I'm already at 33 losses. And there's still two more weeks left of regular season and playoffs. So... I'm going to be losing more, you know, so more losses are coming for me. But last season, 54, 36, so 54 plus 36, that's 90 picks, 54 divided by 90. That's an even 60% win ratio. I consider that pretty good, 60% win ratio from start to finish, from the first game of the season all the way to the Super Bowl, including the playoffs, including all the regular season games that I've picked. That's a pretty good ending spot, I believe. Uh, you might say something different. Um, but if you do say something different, you got to ask yourself, are you publicly picking 70 to 100 NFL games for the last five years? If not, I mean, I'm not sure how much you can really speak up. Super Bowl 55 season, 72 wins, 49 losses from start to finish. Uh, 72 plus 49. That's 121 picks. So 72 divided by 121. Uh, 72. Did I get that right? 121? Yeah, 121. So 72 divided by 121. That's a 59%. 59% is still not bad, especially from start to finish. Um, from all the way from week one all the way to the Super Bowl. Uh, I had 49 losses in this season, but I've also picked 121 picks. I don't think I'll have 121 picks this season when it's all said and done. So I, I, I made much more picks uh, on this season. So I do have a higher uh, losing rate, 49 losses, but I also have a higher winning rate, 72. Uh, so I think it balances out 59%. That's not terrible. Super Bowl 54 season. Uh, I think this is the outlier. Uh, I don't really count this season because it's just it's too good to be true. I call it the outlier season. So 70 wins plus 33 losses, 103 picks, 70 divided by 103. That's a 67 uh, percent win ratio that's really fucking good from start to finish uh, i consider this a very lucky season i consider it an outlier based off of the, my rest of the results I'll, I'll show you why um so 56 super bowl 56 season was a, a dead even 60 percent super bowl 55 season uh was a dead 59 percent super bowl 54 season that was a 67 percent but i consider that an outlier uh, because if we look at Super Bowl 53 season, uh, we get 82 and 52. 82 wins, 52 losses. 82 plus 52, that's 134 picks. So 82 divided by 134, that's 61%. So I'm back down to the 60 range. So you can see how that 67 is an outlier. Because this season, I'm at 56%, which is horrible. I might as well just be at 50-50. Um, last season, I was at 60% dead even season before that i was at 59 percent. then you have the outlier season at 67 percent, and then now here i'm at back at 60 61 so realistically 
I should be around that 60% range, you know, 59, 60, 61. That's, that's really where I should be at. Uh, and like I said, that other season was an outlier and that's what I've done publicly on my Patreon. And, and so when I bring back up the 57 Super Bowl 57 season, it just looks bad now compared to all last season, the season previous before that, the outlier season and the season before that all done publicly. It's just, I'm just not happy and I'm frustrated. And at the end of the day, I just have to be honest with the results that I'm getting. I have to be honest with myself. I have to be honest with you guys. I, I, the reason why I keep track of my record is strictly for accountability. You know, somebody has to be held accountable. Um, and I'm just not happy. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up. If you're planning to join my Patreon for the NFL playoffs coming up, do it under the guise of fun or just kind of just seeing how both sides kind of look. You know, I'm, I, I give out both sides in the paragraph that I write, but I, I give my specific pick. Like I give my, my picks always in writing, underlined and italicized. And then I give out the reason why I like that pick. And then I get to give out the alternative or the other side. Um, that way you as a viewer can decide which, which picks most best for you. You can see where I'm at. Then you can see both sides and then you can choose whatever side you want. So if you're going to join my Patreon, join it for that reason when it comes to NFL. Not because you think I'm going to win you money in the NFL. I don't have the numbers percentage-wise this season to win people money. In fact, I stopped betting NFL seriously in November. I even wrote that here. I stopped betting games seriously in the NFL in November. Uh, my my downhill was, was in November. I was doing pretty solid in September. And I was doing fairly solid in October. But for some reason in November... Something shift, and I just, I just, I couldn't win a game to save my life. If you put a gun to my head and say, "Dude, um, give me a winner or die," I would be dead a hundred times over. <laughs> At the very least, I'd be dead uh, twenty nine or thirty thirty three times over. <laughs> uh, but I wanted, I wanted to share this with you guys because I'm not trying to hide my record. Uh, it's the reason why I keep track of my record so I can I can hold myself accountable so I can be transparent. I'm not trying to blow smoke up your ass. I'm not trying to sell you on anything. I'm not trying to do any of that bullshit that you see other people doing. I'm just trying to be very real with you, very honest with you. This shit is hard. It's really hard. It's not easy, despite what anybody in the comment section says, Despite what anybody on YouTube says, it's, this shit isn't easy. Nobody's making money sports betting. I don't care if you're using good major or not. Nobody's making money sports betting, okay? They're just not. You have a, a lucky weekend here and there. Cool. In the long run, you're just giving it right back to the books. I wish people would just fundamentally understand that. Nobody's winning, okay? Critically think about that, all right? The, there are some people that are winning. You know, it's like five percent. Five percent of the entire population is probably winning at sports betting. But how egotistical do you have to be to think that you're part of that five percent? You have to be pretty egotistical to think that you're part of that five percent. And on top of that, you'd have to have the receipts to back back that up, right? Like if you're one of the five percent that are winning at sports betting, you're not on my YouTube channel. You're not in my comment sections. You're not. You're probably not looking at Gamachia at all. Like, you're probably not in any conspiracy board or anything like that. You're probably making your best and winning your money, right? You're the 5%, right? You're not you're not even bothering with other channels and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, cold, hard reality. I uh, didn't want to sugarcoat it. Wanted to be straightforward as possible. Just let you guys know, if you're looking for NFL picks coming up for January for the playoffs, I'm going to be picking every single NFL playoff game. I'm going to make a pick. I'm going to make a pick. But I, I can't guarantee a certain result because based off the results I've gotten in the last 16 weeks for this season, it's been 50-50. It's been a coin flip. Yeah, I'm at 56%. Yeah, that's 6% above 50%. But I might as well just be at 50% because there's no real consistency there, or at least not enough for to, to be like, all right, I've picked five games. This this is the game out of the five that I really want to put money on. I just can't do that because the game that I really like is most likely going to lose. And the game that I'm not too sure on that I still make a pick on will probably win. And it, it's just that type of fuckery that just messes with you mentally. 
And I, I can't recommend betting any of my picks. And, and in fact, I tell you, I stopped betting my own picks back in November. Like I just, I just, you know, I'll do a parlay here and there. Like I'll put a couple games in a $5 parlay, but that's nothing serious. You know, I can lose five bucks every now and again. I, I ain't no big deal to me. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not betting serious money on NFL games. And I don't foresee myself seriously betting anything for the NFL playoffs. I just don't have the record this season. I don't have the record for it this year. And I just wanted to relay that to you guys. Um, that way um, you're not joining my page thinking that you're going to win all this money. You're not. Uh, you know, I'm doing good in, in basketball, in NBA. NBA is still going. I'm doing okay in NBA. Uh, I make way more picks in NBA than I do in NFL. I mean, I, I've done NFL. I've done like a total of like three or four hundred picks in the last couple of years. But for NBA, I've done over a thousand. So I've done way more NBA. I tend to do better in NBA. I definitely have my losing streaks and my losing days, uh, but I tend to bounce back pretty good in NBA. Um, but NFL this season, it's a wrap. I'm I'm over it. It's, it's at a point to where it's getting under my skin. It's getting to a point to where I just don't even want to do the picks anymore because I just I just know it's not going to be good. Uh, a lot of times I do it just for you guys to see both sides. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm not betting on my picks. I am not. I repeat, I am not placing money on my picks because I know that shit is 50-50. And I want to be transparent about it. And I want to be honest about it. And I want to hold myself accountable. So 56% win ratio is probably going to get worse heading into the playoffs. Last year, I had the 60%. year before that, I had 59%. The year before that, it was the outlier at 67%. I don't even – I consider that an outlier because the year before that, I was at 61. So the 60, the 59, and the 61 is more of a realistic average than the 67%. But then we now we have this 56% this season that's going to drag it down. Uh, so I don't know. I'm just not happy with it. But, yep, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Like I said, if you're planning to join my Patreon solely for NFL picks heading into the last few weeks of the NFL and in the playoffs, just know that this is what my record is. It's basically a coin flip. So don't expect anything other than a coin flip result. Okay? All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.